South Bay cat owners say they're terrified. The person who tortured and killed their pets has been released one month early to a supervised program. ABC 7 News 19 reporter Melanie Woodrow explains why. I don't feel safe. Miriam Martinez says she adored her beloved adopted cat, Thumper. She was like the neighborhood cat. Martinez was one of many families victimized around 2015 by Robert Farmer. Our cats were brutally, brutally killed. Prosecutors say evidence showed Farmer tortured and or killed at least 21 cats. He was found in his car and there was blood evidence contained in his car. Farmer pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 16 years. 13 years in custody, followed by three years of mandatory supervision, according to the Santa Clara County Deputy District Attorney, who explains that in California for crimes such as these, a person only serves half of their time in custody. Farmer was supposed to be released on April 10th, but was released a little more than one month early on March 1st to enter a non-custodial program, where he's being supervised by the Sheriff's Office with an ankle monitor. The Deputy District Attorney says he'll transition to the Probation Department supervision on April 10th. I'm hoping that the monitoring will be sufficient to protect the community and to ensure that nothing like this happens again. Leonor Delgado and Carol Hyde are with the Palo Alto Humane Society. We're very concerned. They say it's hard to know whether Farmer has been rehabilitated. We don't know. The deputy district attorney says the conditions of his release include counseling, substance abuse treatment, a stayaway order of 100 yards from the Cambrian Park 95124 neighborhood, and farmer can't have or live with any animals for 10 years. This is one of the more horrific and disturbing cases I've ever worked on. Animal lovers have this warning for the community. Please keep an eye out for him. Please keep your pets inside, not only because of people like farmer who could be out there, but also because of other dangers. ABC 7 News reached out to Farmer's attorney. We have not yet heard back. For the I-Team, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.